games to keep on playing. News 4 Sport, uh, Tucson Sports Director Paul Cicala has our story. I spent nearly four hours attending the virtual meeting for the AIA in which they discussed high school sports and towards the end, Jay Campos, the administrator for the Vail Unified School District and former football coach for Sabino High School, made the presentation for Cienega and Empire and other high schools to be able to move forward with a new football schedule. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Motion passes. Congratulations, Mr. Campos. The vote is in and Sienega and Empire High School's football teams can move forward with plans for a modified season. This is not a green light, Paul, that everyone's going to go ahead for sure and start and play from October 30th all the way to December 18th. But the AIA today granted us the ability to have a framework that we can potentially play games during those time periods if it is safe enough to do so. Here are some of the key points to the proposal. The option for football players to be bubbled into groups and not take part in on-campus learning. COVID-19 tests must be conducted on a regular basis for players and coaches. And families are required to sign waivers for their children to play. We've been doing countless hours in the weight room, off-season, just hitting it. And it just sucks to see all that hard work go for nothing. And it means everything having a season to us. One of the things that's been important to our superintendents is that we have mitigation strategies that are above and beyond um, what maybe some other schools are doing around the state, that we try to reduce the spread as much as possible, and that we keep our folks safe. The extension of the football season would mean that schools like Empire and Sienega and any other that decides to take part in that format would not be able to participate in a championship game. However, there would be finale games, if you will, in which, much like the Pac-12, they end up playing a final game, and it could be something like a bowl situation. We've got you covered from the west side. Paul C. Kala, News 4, Tucson. All right, let's take a look outside. This is what it was uh, looking like at 4 o'clock. That's